Hey everyone, this is Marcy Super on the Marcy Super channel, and today we are going to talk about the new ban list and skill rebalancing that Duelings is going to be implementing later in March. This is going to be happening right before the March slash April Kaiba Cup, so it's really important to look at what skills are being rebalanced and what cards are actually getting banned or putting on the list um, for future competitive games. Uh, so let's just figure it out. Once, of, first of all, because this is going up the same day I'm recording it, you guys, we just hit 750 subscribers. I'm really happy, really proud. I'm gonna be doing a nice little giveaway for you guys in March, so stay tuned to that. So um, the next couple of videos are gonna be all like talking discussion videos. So look out for those, and we're gonna reveal the new giveaway and on Monday. But on that note, let's do, let's do talk about the skill rebalancing that's happening. In so one, let's talk about the skills because the skills are most important. Because some of these skills have literally have been just killing it. As you guys know, we've been streaming a lot lately, and I've been complaining a lot about um, some of the seeing the same cards over and over again, same skills over and over again. So I want to give you guys my opinions about what's going on. So reasoning for skill balance or for skill rebalancing. We know that Sealed Tombs is a skill specifically devastating graveyard based strategy, so we're adding a, an additional activation um, cost. I don't think this was really needed. Mostly because this was a really good counter pick to the number one tier deck. And I'm going to pull up the tier list. It probably won't be on screen, but I'm going to pull up the tier list right now. Um, actually, I probably can't pull it. Let me pull this over. So we're going to have the Duel Links meta tier list right over here. As we're um, talking. Um, this was this is really here to hurt Element Savers. Dark Magicians get kind of nerfed a little bit by Siltars, but Element Savers, um, Sharon Nui's, and I don't even say Ritual would be so much. Those are only two top tier decks that really deal with the graveyard being maneuvered. Sure, it counters like um, Kite Roid and stuff, but I really don't think Skill Tombs need an additional, um, a, um, additional like activation cost. Sorcerer Conduct. This skill will be given a harder activation cost as many powerful spellcaster marshals have been added to the game. This is just to destroy Alistair. This literally is to stop Alistair. A lot of people were playing Element Sabers and the ability to set one pass, let the damage hit, take a thousand, and then playing Alistair and going into a big fusion monster. That's why Sorcerer Conduct is being hit. Compensation, the number of times this skill can be used will be limited as players are um, compensating too often. Yeah, people are using this with um, Dark Lords. Um, I didn't see it that much of an annoying thing, but yeah, I'm limiting the times. Uh, we need to see how much they're going to limit to see how harsh it is, but I completely see this is happening. Special Specialist, Trap Layer, My Monster, Cardo. This skill, pro this skill probably be lower as it can currently allow players to get certain cards in their starting hand too easily. I'm not 100% okay with this balancing. Especially being a person who just made a spell specialist deck um, recently. You're doing this because of the grass is greener. But not a lot of decks. I'm trying to think. And I'm gonna search on I'm gonna search by skill. I really only see spell specialists really. Okay, I guess they I guess people are using it for Stormbird too. But no one's manipulating up to the point where it deserves to get nerfed. You could have nerfed the cards that they're using to get my, spell specials, my monster card or trap um layer instead of nerfing the skills. I'm not sure about this one. We we do need to test. I guess they do need to test and see what the probabilities are um are getting reduced to. But a lot of times to get certain cards, these skills are really good. Especially spell specials when I was working with um, Gladiator Bees. It was really helping me get Unexpected Die. This may, this might have been one that you more should have nerfed the cards instead of nerfing them. But as we get continue going, you're going to see it. Greater cards will be added to the hand with skills will be strengthened to keep the pace with the current meta. Yeah, you constantly have to update Creator for that. Cyber Dark Style. This, um, this skill will be strengthened with better support to better support Cyber Dark cards. I guess? I'm kind of curious to see how this will work. The same with Bring It and Might of the King. These are kind of all the same realm. 
Um, just the training, the it's like training these skills are changing now. They work, and then chain reaction, love and pace are getting a skill. Um, like the text is getting changed, so not so much on that one. But let's actually look at the updated skill. Still tunes can can be used if your opponents are lower than um your life are lower than your opponents by a thousand or more. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, neither player can banish cards from their graveyard or special amounts from the grave. Only you use ones per duel. This is okay. It makes Sealed Tombs a little bit more of a comeback skill. I am a, I am okay with this. I don't think it needed it, but if you're really concerned about people manipulating Sealed Tombs, because a lot of times we see people who just first turn Sealed Tombs. If you just want to make sure that people are not using Sealed Tombs to win more, I understand this skill. Sorcerer Conduct has been, uh, can be used each time your life once you increase by 15. That way, that's 500 more than 1,000, I, I guess. And you draw a random spellcaster monster? Well, if you only run Alistair, hey. I guess. I don't think this is going to be too... I, I, well, I guess we got to see it in practice. I don't know how much more this is going to work. Because I'm trying to think, what other skills... Evercourt Bling got knocked down to 2,000. But I do know the draw sense went up from 15 to 1,000. We didn't really see much of a change. It makes it usable, but I guess now that you're going to be less life points now, not that harmful of a thing. Compensation can be used each time your life points are increased by 1,000. Send a card from the top of your deck um, and recover 300 life points. This skill can only be used once per turn and twice per duel. I think I'd have been the okay with compensation. I gotta remember what the old compensation was, actually. Let me see if I can look at what the old compensation was. This might actually kill Dark Lord. Let's just be honest here. Cause um We know compensation. Compensation can happen every time it's a thousand under a thousand. And there was no once per turn restriction. I think this may have been a little overkill. I think this should have been just once per turn. And I don't think the twice per duel thing works. I actually wish they would do the they'll do this beat down, but um, this literally just killed Dark Lords. Let's just be honest here. Dark Lords are not going to be as viable. I think they're going to get knocked off the tier list because um, these all their texts are going to remain the same. All of this is metadata. Creator will stay the same. Cyber Dark Style. E can be used each time your life points increased by a thousand. Return one card from your hand. Draw one random Cyber Dark Monster from your deck to your hand. Now, this might. This might actually be a little more. Hurt. A little. This, this is definitely a buff. No lie. A lot of times you're only running Cyber Dark Edge and Cyber Dark Cannon in your deck. Um, this is definitely going to make Cyber Dark as good again. They've always been kind of on the down low, but if every time your life points are decreased by a thousand, return a card from your hand to draw a Cyber, or add a Cyber Dark from your deck to your hand. You're only running Edge and you're only running Cannon. Cannon can be dropped to add Edge, and then Edge can literally attach Cannon. Cyber Dark styles are going to make Cyber Darks really good. And I'm guessing they're doing this because they're going to um, add probably some new Cyber Dark support cards sometime in the future. I think the only ones we don't have is Cyber Dark Infernal. So this might be a signal to see that we might be getting some more Cyber Dark support. Or the last bit of Cyber Dark support sometime soon. Bring it. Life for time, life points are decreased by a thousand. Return one card from your hand to the deck, then add one. Level 8 or lower Dark Warrior monster from your deck to your hand. Now bring it is Aster skill, right? Bring it is definitely Aster skill because this all I'm seeing on this I'm thinking is Destiny Hero Pla um is Destiny Hero Plasma not Plasma Destiny Hero is the big go guy the one that requires three that you run in um not Dogma. I don't know why I don't know this card off the top of my head. As a big Fiero fanatic, that is the one thing. Plasma, it is Plasma. I'm not an idiot. All this is screaming to me is add Plasma to hand. Which, because we want to talk about the cards that are getting banned too, this might actually be a really good boost. Because 
you might be seeing um what's the card you might be seeing for hires playing this because fur hires can get three monsters on the board and summon plasma so this is really cool Mind of the King can be used when you control a Red Dragon or Archfiend, return one card from your hand to your deck. They randomly add one security, um, Scarlet Security, Red Dragon Boss, or Crystal Fire to your hand outside your deck. I guess it makes it a little more usable, I just don't see this being played competitively. But, this is cool. Chain Reaction, your opponent loses 200 life points every time you activate a trap card, okay. Love is Pain, if you receive damage from your opponent's card effect when your life points are 2000 or below, your opponent will lose life points equals to the amount you tech. Okay. I'm not, uh, I really don't care about these two. I don't really see, like, Chain Reaction is good. I don't see Love and Pain really, like, it's just a, a rewording. So that is actually really, really cool. Now, let's talk about the Forbidden List. As we've all been talking about for over a year, everybody in the Duel Links community, the Limited 3 um, category has been added. I expect them slowly and surely over the next couple months add things to the limited three section because I can see that limited three can be used to keep in check art type specific cards so you cannot splash engines into decks so I'm really I like we will see like the first implication of this it's not being implemented or in my way correctly this time around, but let's just take a look. So things that are getting limited, the grass looks greener. I feel like if you would have just hit this, you get a less spell specialist alone. This was kill. Sure, Nui grass was just destroying it. I didn't play it a lot. I didn't play against it a lot, and I didn't make a video on it. But this definitely needed to get hit. And they're also make hitting this preemptively because. As you guys will see in tomorrow's videos, we're getting light swords very, very soon. So the grass is greener is being prematurely hit now to stop sharing newies and to make sure light swords do not get out of like hand. Added to the limited two section, Dark Lord Ixshell. Um, this is just wild. I understand this. This is an instant draw too, but this is this is what's gonna do in Dark Lords even more. The fact that between, let's look at the, I want to um, pull up the current list. Let me see if I can pull up the current list. Um, if we look at the limited two, eggshell and contact, are both limited to which means you're either going to be drawing you're either going to be re I reduce drawing or reduce special or you're going to be drawing or only specialing in Dark Lords now which hey it, it could have it needed to be done I didn't see each as that big of a problem but if Konami is like hey we just do not want to promote this deck being flashable so we're gonna get rid of Ixshell I'm I'm a hundred percent I'm gonna disagree with them on this one I, I don't see the problem, but I can see this. Now, Shurinary Spectre Sword is wild. I'm happy to see this at two. One, because this is allowing certain zombie synchro cards to be played in Shurinui's when they shouldn't be played in Shurinui's. And it's, it's making very broken plays. If we just look at some of the zombie synchro cards in the game, you're being able to summon things that you need Plague Spreader for. Things I, I want to say is mostly just Plague Spreader um, that you need Plague Spreader for, and they're just using Spectral Sword. I don't ag I agree with this, but also this is also tricky, and it's also tricking the other Sharanui effects. <laughs> so I'm okay with this. Black Wings, the Squall, yeah, this is like this is pretty much the reason why. Oh, I could have put them up right there. I should have done that. I can see this being here. Um, this is start. This is letting like Black Wings becoming an OTK deck, and it's dangerous, and it's almost breaking like the control meta. This was probably the only OTK deck that was doing really good. Not like a lot of the other decks on the tier list are either control or hybrid. This was like the only OTK deck, and this was just wrecking it. 
Now, a choice that I do not agree with is Ritual Beast Tamer Elder. After you normal summon this card, you can normal summon one Ritual Beast during your main phase in addition to your normal summon. I, I guess I just do not understand or I do not agree or I don't know what's going on here. I still don't know why Ritual Beasts are tier 3. I don't understand why Ritual Beasts are still on the ladder. But if Tamer being at, I just don't see this being a, um, a problem. Um, going, being on a ladder every day. Note that um, Ritual Beasts have been out for about a two and a half months now. I have barely seen them in the ladder. Maybe you're seeing them in tournaments more, but I do. I barely see this deck on the ladder. I don't think I've seen a single Ritual Beast um, deck on the ladder. And I'm at least playing rank at least every other day at this point. So I'm just, I don't know about this one. And then Limited 3. You can only have three cards from the Limited 3 list in your deck. Um, Palace of the Elemental Lord and Cosmic Cyclone. This, I'm assuming that you make the Limited 3 section and you're going to put things that I will see a lot in conjunction. This is slowly to nerf um, Invoke, the Invoke Engine. Because they can't, I, I see they didn't want to touch the Invoke Engine in itself, so you hit Element Savers. So this is this is pretty this is pretty understandable for me that you target these because you're a lot of times you're using Cosmic Cyclone to make your life points under three thousand, and Palace of the Elemental Sa um, Elemental Lords are letting you grab an Element Saver. So this right here is your fusion right then and there. So I see where this go, but I want to see more things added to the limited three list. I want to see Neo's fusion added here. I want to see some of the for higher cards here. So we have a chance to run more. But speaking of for hire, Wiz is off the list. Thank baby Jesus. Um, the power level is acceptable. We're getting more negates in this game. Discarding and negating is becoming more of a common thing. Wiz being at three is going to give for hires a, bitch, a big boost. But the big guy, the guy who's one, is still at one. So maybe they should have made with the three and put the other um, for higher card to two. But this is a good step. I'm definitely gonna be making a for higher deck as soon as possible with Wiz being at three. Because as you guys know, I love for hires. We have Cyber Petite Angel off the list. Thank you, Jesus. This did not need to be on the list no more. Like the forbidden, like, come on. Thank God this is at the, this is back at three. This now means that Dakini is going to be free to do her thing in the um, in the two section. So now we're gonna see more two Dakinis and two um, or two or three of the um, of I cannot think of her name. Um, we might be able to see one ritual, one Dakini, triple petite, so we can start seeing more plays. I'm okay with this. I love this, and I'm definitely gonna be making a Cyber Angel deck. And then Vylon is off the list! Vylon is off the list! I am calling it. Vylon is off the list because heroes are getting support soon. And they want to sell the box that the hero support comes out in. Um, overall, I'm not too disappointed in this. I see a lot of the potential in this. And I'm really happy to see that um, Duel Links is kind of listening to the community Noticing that the limited three list is actually a thing that they can use. I really want them to use this to um, make, to stop splashable engine. So I definitely, like you could have put Alistair in here and I would have been okay with it. Make this so, this is a, this stops engines being splashed and take some more stuff off the list. Um, so if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, show your boy some love. We just hit 750 subscribers. We're going to be making the push to a thousand and we'll talk a little bit more on the update video on Monday. I love you. I appreciate you. This is Mars King Super on the Mars King Super channel and the Mars is out.